And in Edmondson, you could hear the emotion in her voice when she spoke about her parents and her coaching staff as well. We now turn our attention to the final. It's Anamiz who comes in as the defending champion, but she's got some stiff competition to confront. Well, absolutely. We saw Victoria Pendleton relegated in the last race, riding for 7th to 12th. But this is the final. Gold medals at stake, first to six. Unfortunately for Anna, she hasn't picked up a gold medal at this year's World Championships. Three from last year. A couple of silvers, though. I saw a silver and a bronze, I should say. So she would be very, very fired up to pick up this gold medal here. But five other girls that want to try and stop her from doing that. It's a real tactical battle. But we've just seen the way Anna and Kieran's in the past. She has that... that I guess long sprint. She's able to go from behind with a foot with a time trial background. So wouldn't be surprised to see her go nice and early and lead lead out, try and take it all the way to the line. But just with so such quality in this women's final, it's gonna be a tough race. This is Clara Sanchez. She was the world champion the last time the world championships were held here. The French woman 2004, 2005, the rainbow jersey, silver in 09. Vogel at the bottom of the track from Germany. World record holder, world champion in the team sprint. Two riders from China, Zhuang who's got the all-white helmet, and Yu Di, who has the black stripes. Zhuang was the world champion in 2009, and Naidenko at the back of the group from Russia. This, as you would expect in the world championships, is a quality field. The two Chinese riders in here as well, so we have to be a little bit cautious of what might happen between those two. Team tactics certainly have been seen in the past. It's not really that frowned upon. Well, I guess it's frowned upon by the commissaires, but there's nothing they can do about, about it. We didn't see it in the uh, women's semi-final. We had two Australians, but Anna Mears rode completely her own race to make sure she made it in here to this final. This is Sanchez looking composed. She sits in third position. She's on the wheel of Shwango of China. It's then Anna Mears, followed by Naidenko of Russia. Three rainbow jerseys at last year's World Championships for Anna Mears. She's pulled up short so far this year by her standards, but we know how far she is. She set a world record yesterday in the Flying 200. Well, with that extra speed, she was more than two tenths of a second faster than the second fastest qualifier in the sprint. So if she can just unleash the beast and that amount of speed, then get some clear air, she should be able to take the title. This is Mu Di of China, who's at the back of the group. She's the least credentialed of the two Chinese riders that are in this race. And given that she's at the back and already starting to give a little bit of distance, suspecting that she might try and take a flyer. The bike will come off at two and a half laps to go. You cannot go past the Derny before it does come off the track. Riders have been disqualified in the past from uh, just sneaking past the back wheel of the Derny before it did come down. Be another lap. At this point, next lap is when the journey will come down and the race will be on. They're starting to bunch up. The fight for position commences once the journey gets out of the way. They can't really rub shoulders until that point. It is Christina Vogel, world champion on night one, who sits at the front of that group. She's starting to get nervous. She looks across the shoulder. Will the move come from UD at the back of the group? Here it comes now. Right on cue, Matt. Here she comes around the outside. Is it for herself or is it for her Chinese teammate, the more favoured go? It's for Schwango for sure because she was expecting the move. She looked over the shoulder. These are team tactics coming into play and Anna Mears is giving a little distance as she's looking to wind them up and get over the top, coming down to get the bell. Well, Clara Sanchez tried to go around the outside. Go was all over the top of that and balked her. Mears, she gave a little bit of distance, but it's Vogel that still leads at the front. The world record holder in the team sprint, the defending champion Mears. She's coming around the outside. She's got Maidenko challenging. Mears is over the top. She's world champion. She's world champion again. That's the one she was looking for. Hasn't had one so far at the home world championships here in Melbourne. Finally, after three events, she's finally cracked the gold medal. proud so they should be all of Australia is proud she is a great role model as well and is the way she conducts herself on and off the bar well, she did have to come up, overcome the Chinese tactics it was about trying to lead out her teammate in go could not underestimate the speed of Christina Vogel the world champion in the team sprint such a powerful rider 
but Enemies had the better of them all. Just patient, calm, put herself in a good position, and then just had the extra explosive speed to go around the outside. We saw her as they headed down the back. So at this point here, the distance she gave them, she was starting to wind up so she could get the run and the ascendancy as they were coming in to the next rounding of the banking. Is Vogel on the front very, very fast. But it was a big challenge here for Anami. She had to get around the outside of the Chinese rider in Go, who was a former world champion herself. Once we got to this position here, a little bit of height up the track. You get the run from the transition of the bend down into the straight. Extra speed comes with that. Punch of the fist in the air. Very happy lady. And of any of the sprint events, that's the earliest celebration that we've seen. Pat Cash, 1987. And there's Mark Chadwick, the husband. We're not too far from the Yarra River. Jim Courier, run across, dive in. It's a little bit too dark in the evening for that, I think. This could take a while. Anna Mears, she enjoys the support that she gets from the crowd. And don't they love her as well? And the sign that is out, the world fears Anna Mears. Yes, they do. Her nieces and her nephew are here to watch her for the first time in person. Well, it is my understanding she does have one more event to ride, the 500 metre time trial. This is looking a little bit dangerous up here, walking along here with bike shoes on, the cleats underneath the carbon soles. Let's hope she keeps her footing. This is Kenrick Tucker Sr. He was her first coach. The velodrome up in Queensland is named after Kenrick Tucker. And she said that she was going to dedicate the 500 metre time trial to Kenrick Tucker. But she gets to do so with the women's Kieran. She's the gold medalist as she was last year. Kenrick Tucker, enjoy the moment. Anime is likewise. Coming up next, it's the race for the gold medal in the individual pursuit. Bobridge versus Hepburn.